Hi everybody, it's Chris here. <coughs> right, well, I've had a bit of a, a bit of a morning, and the reason being is the piece of hawthorn that you saw me cut with the chainsaw <coughs> in the previous video uh, was going to be an off-centre goblet. So let's just it's this one. So as I, as I turned it true. There's a massive cr there's a massive crack in it there and there's something else as well somewhere is it the other oh it's here so uh, at both ends there's a massive split and I can feel it running in towards the center so I thought uh, seeing as it's my first off center turning. Uh, I thought it's probably best not to use that piece because it would probably end up blowing so I got another piece out and this was a piece of ash and I was going to use this and even though I've put some CA glue in there uh, I think that that runs quite deep towards the center so I can't well, well there's there's one there's two and they're very deep so I thought screw it <laughs> um, I'm not in the mood today for having stuff blow up on me and I'd spent all morning I made a right there's, there's shavings everywhere I mean it was good roughing down practice if nothing else and I sharpened my uh, roughing gouge to uh, to rough them down so I've had a bit of sharpening practice so you know always set the positives out of the situation so no off centre goblet I'm afraid I'll have to leave that until I can uh, get some stable wood so anyway what I'm going to do today instead is a couple of months ago I was at a flea market and a guy had a box of old tools so there's this old screwdriver uh, with a badly damaged handle so I thought well <clears throat> that'll be a good little project to put a new handle on it something that I've not done yet and repurpose it so I've got this I've got this piece of timber here I don't know what what tree it's from couldn't tell you the species but maybe someone can tell me but I've uh, had it on my center finder and whacked the score lines in it so uh, what I need to do first though is this is uh, way too long really so I'm going to cut it with my angle grinder on the shaft here and make it smaller then I can just epoxy the shaft straight in uh, I'll do away with this this metal ferrule here that's part of the screwdriver and obviously do away with that old timber there so uh, my first job will be to get the angle grinder on that so I'll get set up and reposition everything and then we can cut this with the angle grinder so uh, I'll catch up with you in a moment okay everybody I've got the uh, screwdriver in a vise here now so I'm just gonna get the angle grinder going and then I'll be able to make a cut so about there There you have it. Obviously that's going to be blistering hot now, so let me just... Mm. 
uh, and I'll just leave that to cool down. Right here everybody I've got this uh, little piece of timber in between centres now so I've got my face shield on. Got my roughing gouge. Okay so let's just make sure it's clear face shield down start it on its lowest speed that's pretty well right I, I think I'm okay to go pretty fast just get lined up and off we go Okay everybody, that's trued up now and I've squared the end up a little bit, so it's in my chuck now. So I've got some 22mm <coughs> copper here and a pipe cutter, so I don't know how long really you should do the ferrule, but it doesn't have to be too big, so I think if I just... Something like that. So, you've all seen these, you just grab it and keep turning until it cuts through the copper. that's that done piece of copper there now as a ferrule so that'll need a bit of a clean up so I'll be back in a second okay so I've just give the copper a bit of a file so there's no burrs and sharp edges so what I need to do is just find out Hope you can get that hope find out the length so it's about that so if I just lock that off now just put the copper there get my face shield so basically I need to be having my parting tool just make sure that's on the end there Should be about right there. Okay, so I've set my calipers <coughs> now to the internal dimension of the copper pipe. So this is it's getting near there. So just take it a bit more gentle now. Move the tool rest in a little bit. Let's 
a little more. Right, this, this this copper tubing, it fits on there nice and tight, but with a good hack, uh, whack with a mallet, uh, that'll be good. So what I need to do now is uh, get some glue on there and then tap it home. So I just need that tool rest out of the way. Okay everybody, I've got a parting tool now, so I'm just going to put a mark at the end there. Okay, and then I will get my spindle gouge, I'll start shaping now. Okay, so I've got the shape now of a handle and the ferrule. And, uh, what I'm going to do now is just drill the hole. So start off nice and slow. Okay everybody, so here it is now on the lathe, I've applied some polish to it and the ferrule, I've just given that a quick sanding and also the actual shaft and the tip, I'll just give it a quick rub over with some wire wool just to knock some of the uh, age off it. So all I need to do is uh, just part it off at this end and then I'll get back to you in a moment. Anyway folks, there there it is, so it's off the lathe now and I went with a very very flat top and not that I ever would want to strike it with a mallet but <clears throat> if I did, it's got a nice flat top there now for getting a good straight blow and like again, sorry for uh, not knowing the species of the of the handle you guys would know better than that so if I just carefully spin it hopefully you'll see some of the grain bit of 22 mil pipe uh, as a ferrule and that was incidentally I've glued that in with uh, the polyurethane expanding glue by tight bond so uh, I'm not going to be putting it under very heavy loads so uh, and this is the the old handle so <laughs> big difference there 
and I'm sorry that I've not done the off-centre goblet as I'd promised and I really wanted to do it but you know the splits in them wood were just too deep and you know it would have just been a nightmare trying to turn that and I'm just, even I'm 100% convinced it would have blown apart so <clears throat> discretion is the better part of valour on that one and I'd just like to say actually that uh it's funny how things happen for a reason and it wasn't intended but yesterday uh, was the 20th of May and that was my father, my late father, uh, father's birthday so uh, unfortunately my father passed away in 1991 uh, he was just 47 years old and he had lung cancer that, that went secondary to his brain so uh, he was a central heating engineer and a plumber my old man was so isn't it funny how things happen but anyway happy birthday dad i love you and i miss you thanks everybody for watching bye